Country 97.1, Hank FM, live at the CMA Music Festival, brought to you by Super 8 and Bicycle Playing Cards. We are joined right now by Patty Loveless. Hello. Hello, Dave. Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you. Uh, we talked to you a couple of uh, days before the uh, Indianapolis 500 when you and Danica Patrick were involved in yes. the uh, Drive for COPD yes. campaign, which I know you're still a part of, obviously. Yes, actually, and I think I'm ahead of her as far as finding the Miss Millions right now. <laughs> well, I have to tell you, uh, Danica stirred up a little controversy in Indy when she got out of her car after qualifying and said a few things that people didn't really like. So Whoops. I think a lot of people went online and voted for Patty Loveless at that point, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good to have a villain, no matter what you're doing, oh, right? Uh, well, I, you know what? Danica is very, very cool, and uh, it just, to me, I think this is some kind of woman to get behind the wheel out there, and... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty you gotta incredible. you got to have it together. you got to have it together. Yeah, and she, she actually is, you know, a fan favorite, and uh, she's doing great work with you guys on the Drive she, for COPD she really campaign. Is. And I also saw your uh, booth and your tent down on Lower Broadway here yesterday. Oh, did you? Yeah, uh, I don't know if you're actually out <laughs> in it ever, but they are out there signing I people up. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> oh, okay. I just saw them yesterday setting it all up. I will so. be out there, though. And are you going to be signing stuff in the oh, uh, yes. convention center? I will. And, and I will. performing as well? I will. You are back strong at I CMA Music back. Festival. I have to, if you will indulge me just a minute, introduce you to uh, a huge fan of yours. This is Kimsey, who is very excited to meet you today. Kimsey? Kimsey, yes. Kimsey. Kimsey. Not like kimchi, but no. Kimsey. <laughs> Kimchi's quite different. Yes, it is. Kimchi. My husband loves kimchi, but. <laughs> really? So do I, actually. Uh, do you? Pickled cabbage. It's Korean uh, pickled cabbage. I think I like Kimsey better. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Kimsey. But, uh, uh, Kim Kimsey really is a, is a fan, particularly of, of your latest CD. Mountain Soul 2. Oh, wow. I absolutely love that CD. I love your Appalachian acoustic music. Thank you. That is the like just the best stuff. And I want to know, is there going to be a Mountain Soul 3? Please <laughs> tell me there is. Well, um, you know, you never know what's going to pop out of me. <laughs> it might happen again. But it's just, uh, you know, if, if the moment calls, and, and especially uh, ones like you, uh, like fans that uh, are requesting to hear more of that kind of music, then yeah, there's a possibility. Is there another song you want to do like you did Busted? Obviously uh, the history behind that song, a lot of people don't know the history behind that song with Johnny Cash and things like that and coal mining and you know. Right, you know Harlan Howard uh, wrote the song Busted. Um, he also wrote Blame It On Your Heart, the song mm -hmm. that I did. He wrote uh, Why Not Me, The Judds. He wrote I Fall To Pieces, uh, Patsy Cline. Uh, and he's no longer with us, of course. Uh, uh, he's been gone for quite some time. And Busted, uh, th that particular song, um, since I'm a coal miner's daughter, I, I felt like I could actually do the, the, the original lyrics, which Harlan, Harlan expressed to my husband one day when they were writing together that... Um, that the song was originally about the coal mines. Mm -hmm. And when he pitched it to Johnny Cash, Johnny called him up and said, Harlan, it's a great song, but I know nothing about coal mines. And Harlan says, well, what do you know about? And he says, well, cotton. And I, you know, I can just see, I can, I can see Harlan right now scratching out the coal mines and but fitting cotton. in cotton. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and you know, and Ray Charles made a big, huge hit out of it. Yeah, yeah, the, and that's when I heard it. I was like, wow, you, you did, you took that song and you actually made it back to what it should have, what it, it, what it is. Back but you know, uh, there, there was not a, uh, a chorus in uh, the original either. Really? Actually, Emery wrote the chorus in it. Well, so. if he was writing before with him, it, yeah, well, you know. Well, he didn't actually write with, uh, uh, he did not write on Busted with, uh, with Harlan when he was alive. Right, but it if he was, had written with came, him before. Yeah, yeah. if he had, it, he probably would have written a, a course to it. So he threw a course in. So whenever you hear this song, the original, um, there is the original lyrics, but the chorus is not original. And uh, I think Harlem would have been proud that Emery yes. added it to it. Wow, that's great. Okay. Patty Loveless, great to see you. And good luck again with the DriveForCOPD.com campaign. Go online and sign up and come see Patty at CMA Music Fest. Please do. Live on Country 97.1, Hank FM.